Okay, just a brief rundown of how I've got this set up. We've got positive on the nipple coming out of the RCA, and then we've got negative around the outside shield there, making sure neither one of them are touching. We're gonna change this over to voltage, and we're gonna stay in AC. Staying in AC, and just for test purposes, I've got my 30 hertz and my 50 hertz completely removed out of all of my speakers on the interior. And then in my settings here, I've got my subwoofer pre out because there's a front stage pre out, there's a rear stage pre out, and then there's a third and final pre out on this drawing head unit. And that third and final pre out is a subwoofer pre out. So that subwoofer pre out is canceling anything out that's below 25 hertz and above 100 hertz because I don't want anything coming up on my amp. Um, that goes to the sub. Anyway, long story short, and then of course I've got the amps low pass filter and high pass filter, but that's another video for another day. So there's the setup. Let's open up YouTube. And then let's play a 50 hertz tone. Well, it would help if I could touch it. There we go. 50 hertz tone. Let's turn the volume up. Turn it down to 35. Let's come out to wide screen, wide shot. Okay, there we go. Now it's playing. I'm seeing 0.56. And if I turn this up to the 36, to volume 36, the loudest it'll go. I get 0 0.62, 0 0.6, yeah, 0.62. Let's hit pause on this and bring it back. And now let's check the other side. Right now this is the black wire, let's check the red one. Okay, we're back. We're hooked up with the red one, making sure that neither one of these are touching. That black one doesn't look like it's on there very well, but we'll try it anyway. Still on AC mode. Let's play our 50 hertz tone. And this is at volume seven, barely any voltage. Let's turn the volume up. Volume 25, 0.176 volts, all the way up to 36. 0.628. So 0.62 plus 0.62, what do we got? 1.24. So 1.24 volts is what's coming out of my subwoofer pre-out. There's only one subwoofer pre-out on the drawing. And then I, do, I made a Y split. Let's lower this. I don't know why my speakers make a little bit of a popping noise when I lower the volume. It's barely audible, but I can hear it. So yeah, uh, it's a Y splitter. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely remove, I'm going to completely remove the Y splitter and just run one RCA out from the subwoofer pre out and the head unit going all the way to the amp and see if that takes away the noise that I'm kind of hearing in the subwoofer. Well, I can't say noise, but if it takes away any of that low, small rumbling when there's no music playing.